Okay, now that we have, um, we introduced what vectors and scalars are, let's go to the parts of a vector. We will, again, the topic of this uh, lecture is on, mag on vectors, specifically how we manipulate or how we uh, solve problems involving vectors, because that is a central idea in physics. So uh, here we, in this topic, we will consider the magnitude and the direction of vectors. So, okay, so, so magnitude and direction. So vectors have, uh, have two parts. So a vector can be represented as an arrow, a column, matrix, or a list. So again, um, there are different ways of representing a vector. For us, uh, for us studying physics, you are only representing a vector as an arrow. So um, a column matrix, for example, pag nakakarindi ka ng mga medyo ano na mathematician, they will consider a vector as a list of, um, as a column matrix. For example, like this, kanan ganito. One, two, three. That's a vector. Okay? Now, uh, we can also do this as a list for a computer scientist, but for now, let's focus on the arrow notation for vectors. Note here that all of these um, representations are equivalent. Ibig sabihin, um, you, I can always convert an arrow notation to a column matrix notation or to a list notation. It really depends. Okay, it really depends on the context. But for now, um, let's focus on the arrow notation. Kasi yun yung mas physical sa atin. Yun yung kasi measurable ang magnitude. No? Measure, magnitude is something that you, you can measure. Direction is something that you can see. Okay, for more abstract um, in interpretations of what a vector is, let's go, tsaka kayo pupunta sa column matrix notation at tsaka sa list notation. Okay. Now, the magnitude is the so-called the length of the vector. Kung gaano kahaba yung vector na yan in your arrow, that's the magnitude of the vector. So for example, if this is a force, force is a vector because it has magnitude and direction. So force is a vector. The total strength of that force is indicated by the length of of the force vector or the by the magnitude of the force vector. Similarly, the displacement of a particle from the origin of a particular coordinate system, for example, here we have x and y coordinates and uh, A here is, let's say, a displacement. For example, you have a particle here. Uh, it's uh, So the total displacement from this to this one is, has uh, the total distance from this one to this one is about, uh, about length A or the magnitude is some a. Okay. Also, as we see here, we have notations for the magnitude. Uh, sometimes, makikita, makikita ka ng ganito. It's also a notation for the magnitude. Sometimes, it, you can also see something like this, absolute value. It's also a value notation for the magnitude. Or sometimes, ganito lang siya. Simply, na walang arrow. Pag ay arrow na yan, hindi na yan magnitude. Remember, the magnitude of a vector is a scalar. So, it's a scalar quantity. Therefore, dapat walang arrow niya. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong ba? May tanong? Are there any questions so far? Okay. Now, what about the direction? So, the direction is where the vector points. And important rito is it really depends on how you are, how you set up your coordinate system. This That's a very central idea in physics. So, setting up your coordinate system is uh, identifying what your x equals 0 and y, is, y equals 0 are. This uh, is the important uh, topic for for, to, for uh, getting the direction of your vector. Arbitrary kasi yan. We will see that when we go to motion in 1D. What, what do we mean by arbitrary, by the arbitrariness of coordinate representation? Pag-uusapan natin yan doon. But for now, halimbawa, halimbawa itinit ko to ng ganyan. Ganyan to halimbawa. Iba na yung theta na yan. Diba? Nag-iiba siya. So for example, dito ko tinilt, panang pinaikot ko siyang ganyan, iba na rin yung theta na yan. So what I'm saying here is the direction of the vector depends on how you represented it. Okay? So, uh, of course, uh, medyo subtle yan. Kasi usually naman, ang gagawin naman natin isura ng vector, mukhang ganito. But when we solve problems involving, for example, forces, that will be an important idea when we represent these force vectors. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? Are there any questions? May tanong ba rito? May tanong? We will see that. Don't worry. Uh, we will see that um, arbitrariness next time. Well, I will illustrate to you that, okay, kahit anong ano dyan, may something arbitrariness na nangyayari sa direction. Okay. Now, how would you represent the direction? So, um, before we go to that, let's go to uh, parallel and anti-parallel vectors because these are some terms that you will encounter uh, throughout the course. So, so, two vectors are parallel if they point at the same direction. For example, if you have vector A here, 
and vector B here, then these two, um, since these two vectors are, uh, are pointing in the same direction, then A and B are parallel to each other. Okay? Clear ba don? Two vectors are parallel if they point at the same direction. Okay. Now, two vectors are equal if they are parallel. So parallel dapat. So they, they should have, they should point uh, at the same direction and they have the same magnitude. For example, here in this first um, example, A and B are not equal because the length of A is larger than the length of B. But in this particular example, these two vectors are equal because the length of A and the length of B are the same. Okay? Malino ba tayo rito? Malinaw? Yes, po. Yes, sir. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Okay, that's an, that's an important definition. Now, two vectors are antiparallel if they point in the opposite direction. For example, here, both A and B are antiparallel to each other because A is pointing in this direction while B is pointing in the other direction. So, in that case, A and B are antiparallel. Okay? Clear? Clear? Dot. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Then finally, a vector is the negative of another vector if they have the same length and it is antiparallel to, and um, it here refers to the vector and the vector is antiparallel to the other one. So for example, here, A, um, is, anti, um, A is the negative of B because A, uh, because the direction of B is opposite the direction of A, so therefore they're antiparallel. At the same time, the length of A is equal to the length of B. So B is therefore equal to negative A, and, or A is the negative of, uh, of B. Or A, A equals negative B, or B equals negative A. Okay? Questions? May questions ba tayo rito? May mga tanong ba? Not Okay, sige. Now, Let's go, as I said, let's go to the to our conventions on the direction. The, the idea of parallel and anti-parallel vectors will come into play, uh, especially when we, when we calculate or we solve problems. So let's go back for now to conventions on what the direction of a vector is. So, so may mga iba-ibang naming conventions yan. As I said, arbitrary nga yung pagkakanin dyan. Pero even the, the way you, you set up your coordinate system is arbitrary. Pero... One way to name the direction of a vector is to use the principal angle. So the principal angle is the angle with respect to, or when you see me write WRT, it means with respect to, angle with respect to the positive x-axis. What do, does it mean by, by this? For example, here, consider this vector A. This vector A here has length 4 meters. So we already know that the magnitude of that vector is 4 meters. So, okay? So alam mo 4 meters yan. Now, um, if the angle, if this angle here is 30 degrees with respect to this x-axis here, note here I'm talking about the positive x-axis here, kasi pwede naman dito yun sa kabila, di ba? But no, I'm talking about the positive x-axis here. So this 30 degrees represents the direction of the vector with respect to positive x. So you can write the vector uh, as this. So vector A is 4 meters, 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. It's acceptable. So, pwede tong gamitin. Or, um, if, the, if the ambiguity is um, removed, pwede mong tanggalin tong with respect to the horizontal dyan. Pero, dapat may implicit assumption na na with respect to positive x yan. So, dapat nagkakaliwa ng, uh, ano raw? Nagkakalinawan kayo <laughs> kung ano yung ibig sabihin nyo ng 30 degrees dyan. And for this, usually, ang convention is the 30 degrees is with respect to the horizontal. Okay? Questions? Questions? May tanong ba? May mga tanong? None po. None. Okay. I hope you have questions na next time, no? Sige. Okay lang naman yon. Okay. Sige. Now, there's another convention. We will use the so-called bearing. Bearing uses the, the four cardinal directions and is usually expressed relative to north. So kapag nakakarinig ka ng mga uh, ng idea ng bearings and navigation, it's usually expressed uh, usually relative to north. No? So kung ano north, kung ano angle between from the north towards the, the particular object, usually bearing yon. But we can always generalize it to any arbitrary direction. Uh, pero ang form niya dapat ay ganito. So for example, consider the same angle. Uh, I, sorry, consider the same vector, vector A, where the magnitude of vector A is 4 meters. And it's, um, again, 30 degrees 
relative to positive x axis. So what we can do here is to replace this x and y here by your four cardinal directions. So my four cardinal directions come in jan. And we know in the four cardinal directions that the direction papunta rito is your east. So this means that your x will, re will be replaced by, your positive x in that case will be replaced by east and your y will, will be replaced by north. And when you write the direction, ganito yung magiging posible yung itsura niya. Um, pwede vector A is 4 meters, 30 degrees north of east. Sir, bakit 30 degrees north of east? I'll explain to you later. Or, if you calculate the complement of it, let's say this is 60 degrees, pwede mo rin sabihin na it's 4 meters, 60 degrees east of north. Okay? Questions? Questions? Okay. And, sir, pa paano nakuha itong mga directions na yan? Ito na, may next slide. Sandali. <laughs> so, bearing... So in general, you can write the bearing of something as n degrees direction of A, a direction A of direction B. Ibig sabihin yan, you start with direction B, turn n degrees towards direction A. Okay? Turn n, de uh, n degrees towards A. So ano ibig sabihin? Man? Ibig sabihin, for example, this angle here. So again, you see an N, E, W, S. So, so, yan. so this means that... Um, if this is 60 degrees, uh, let's say this is 5 meters. So I have 5 meters. Ano yan? I'll start with east. I turn 60 degrees towards south. So this is 60 degrees south of east. Tama? Tama? So yes. I started with east. I turn 60 degrees towards um, south. So therefore, when you write it, it becomes 5 meters 60 degrees south of east. Okay? Questions? Question dito? Kailangan ng example? Let's have another example. So, this is 60 degrees south of east. Meron na pala akong ano dyan. Burain ko na to ha. So, another, uh, another example. Let's say, so again, new sulit yan. New, new. Okay. So, this is again 20 degrees. So, saan ka nag-start? You started with north. You turn 20 degrees towards west. Ama? Kasi yung angle dito ay 20 degrees. Mula in between the vector and north. Okay? Hence, when you measure it, or you can write it as, ano, paano mo siya i-express? This is 20 degrees, ano? West of north. West of north, correct. So this is 20 degrees west of north. Tama? And then finally, another example, this one. So this is again news. Meron tayong card, uh, compass rows dyan, if ever na malito kayo sa directions. I sometimes do that, napapalit ko yung west at saka east. <laughs> medyo, medyo sabaw. So yan, for example, this one. How would you write this uh, vector here? 15 degrees west of south. Yes, it should be 15 degrees west of, west of south. Bakit? You started with south, turn 15 degrees towards west. Therefore, that's 15 degrees west of south. Okay? Questions? May mga tanong ba? Are there any questions? May mga tanong? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Sige. So, 